Good luck. All right, welcome back. This marks the round four of the tourney to master competition. Um, so in this, oh, this is interesting already. Uh, in this competition, uh, let me just get my moves in. These are mostly players that have a one don or greater ranking that are playing in this section, uh, up to four don amateur level. Um, and we just compete and see how it goes. Um, So if I push the center pawn, if they push here, I take rook takes gold up, rook takes pawn. I think it's still playable. Um, Oh wait, we can push this third foul pawn again. We could, well, we pushed our center foul pawn though. That complicates things slightly. Um, I think at one point I did run this through an engine and found an. Well, no, that idea of. I had an aggressive idea, but it doesn't apply here. Um. Yes, I'm confused. I have successfully confused myself. That's not great. Um, hmm. I think this is playable, but I don't remember why. Yeah, I have got a strange position. I need to figure this out. So I think if the silver moves up, I can impose that with my silver. So I don't see... Oh, right, I forgot. That's a thing. They could potentially pile all their pieces on the center point. Um, I forgot this might be playable, and I've not yet looked into it. But uh, we should get an initiative for this. Um... I'm going to try to bring my king to safety and just let the chips fall where they fall here. So I've made some effort to protect my king. Uh, our opponent is going to collect the center pawn and that's going to be a huge problem. But somehow we'll find a way for things to be okay. Um, hmm. I really don't know. Oh, that 
that's challenging. Um, hmm. I could offer to walk into a fork. Silver takes, silver takes, knight takes. And I at least get a counter attack. Um, yeah, I've poorly misplayed somehow. But this knight is a target, so we should try to exploit that. If we could get a pawn in hand, which we probably cannot. Um, let's give our knight somewhere to run to. This is confusing. Check, do I have my badge on the overlay? I do have my badge showing. So somehow I did make it to Wandon, despite not understanding this position. Um, let's try to force the silver to move, I guess. They offer this exchange. Now my rook is a bit prone here, so I should just retreat the... Well, my bishop's prone too. Hmm, lots of tactics result here. Um, man, what an unsafe position for my pieces. What an unsafe position. Hmm. I guess this is reasonable. I mean, I'm walking into a fork, but I'm hoping to collect this knight later. So maybe the fork isn't such a big deal. So right now this silver does defend this pawn, but if the silver gets exchanged, it's not defending the pawn anymore. Um, So normally, instead of this pawn advance, or instead of some move that I've played... Oh, that's weird. That's aggressive. I don't know why you need to be so aggressive here. Um... I guess we'll retreat. I don't have much of a choice here. Alright, my gold is about to turn into dust soon. Wait, I can take this. That's a free pawn. 
Um, they need more to attack with. All right, they collect my free pawn. That's fine. It's scary, because next the silver and bishop are very rapidly racing up the board. But we're not there yet. So let's pursue their rook. Okay, this does threaten to promote the knight once the silver advances once more. Um, there's no reason for me to not promote this, so let's promote it. Um... We'll attempt to defend this center so that we don't get overrun by the bishop, silver, and knight all at once. Um, and I think now we collect the knight. I think next we start chasing the silver. Well, we don't exactly want to trade our silver for the silver, but we don't want it this close to our position. Um, yeah, they're threatening to attack the ear of our rook, so we need to do something about the silver. Um, hmm. I could move the knight. If I move it, I'm going to have to move it again. If I drop a pawn, then my knight is, well, not quite trapped, but it's not happy. Um. Yeah, let's activate this knight. It's slow, but we have tempos to do stuff, so let's do it. Um, yeah, they have a clear threat. Let's see. Wait, if I drop a pawn, rook takes. If I drop a knight, they take your check. If I drop it here, they take their take the rook they take. We don't win a piece any there's no trick for us to win a piece here. Uh well No, our silver is also loose, so like baiting the rook to move up the board is tremendously risky. Um so we need to do something about this threat. Um, Yeah, my position's so fragile. Oh, 
Well, I think we just keep moving the knight. And get that out of the way of our bishop so someday our bishop can do something again. Um, they're threatening bishop takes pawn, and then, they, well, they can't drop the pawn meaningfully. Um, yeah, let's just pursue an attack. It's fine. It's what we normally do. Oh, I had a knight forking these two silvers. I still have it. Um, they would do something and we start exchanging a lot of pieces. Um, Well, this is crude, but why not, right? Like, how are they going to defend this point? We have a lance. The lance is going to land on the head of my rook in just a second. Um, this knight is loose. Hmm. Yeah, let's just have at it. How bad can this be? I should slow down a little bit, even though I'm anxious. I mean, maybe that's especially why I should slow down. But it looks like I have a very strong attack down the center file. Uh... It's, I need to imagine this attack somehow could fail, but I struggle to imagine it. So, my bishop joins the attack, uh, my gold might join the attack, I might drop up token or pawn that, like, rapidly advances and joins this attack, so, get everything like, okay, there's a counter attack. That makes sense. Um, hmm. If I attack this, they go back. This is defended. 
It's a little tricky. That's unfortunate, but seems to function. I block my bishop. Despite everything I keep saying about wanting my bishop to be active. Um, I think I just take this. Especially because they have very few pieces to defend with. Yeah, and I have to take this. And while my rook may be loose... Okay, okay. That is definitely a fork. Um, well, it's true that my rook is imperiled. That's not the only thing to consider on this board. This gold has been doing nothing. Hmm. The gold protects against rook drops. We're going to take this rook. All right, so they've got a silver in hand. They actually have a pawn in hand that could fluster my attack somewhat. Um, there's no way I'm getting a knight. A checkmate would be hard for me to orchestrate here. Oh, they're threatening a drop. I should try to force them to do things. All right, this shuts out their bishop for a bit. Um, I'm going to take the silver. I think I will need every piece I can get. Oh my god. That completely breaks their attack. If they want to start an attack after I take this, they have to start over. Um, that's risky. Yeah, because they had a foothold in my position, but this gives it up. Um, I guess my bishop's kind of loose. <sighs> I don't understand. This protects my king. So we're going to protect my king. And see, like, what have I missed? I 
think I mean there's some there's a variety of things I could do here. Yeah, the safest defense I can do is just pile this along with all my other defensive pieces. Understanding that's probably their response here. And I have a response to that response, which is my gold can move down to ward this away. <sighs> if I do that, they could drop a pawn. No, they could move this dragon back and I could like continue dropping more pieces. Um... Yes, this dragon gets chased into the corner. Um... I had somewhat intended to move this gold anyway either nearer to the king or to my other golds, just for sake of having my stuff together. Oh, I'm sorry, gold takes is an option here. A left gold takes. Seems to bring everything together. So, yeah, I think at this point, um, it's difficult to imagine how their attack continues. They have a good imagination. They've also been playing a bit quickly. Maybe they have another commitment after this. It is kind of late. Um, so. Um. Yes, I've avoided a silver drop. Working two gold generals. Um, so, yeah, this dragon is going to make some threats. This token might come over and force my gold to move or something. Um, or they might just sacrifice their dragon for whatever I stick in the way here. I could see that too. My bishop is not free. Um, hmm. I block my bishop once more, which again is awkward but um, prevents some catastrophic things from happening in the center until I've built a castle. So that's the trade-off, is that I'm attacking very slowly, but eventually I'm going to drop the lance here and try to find some kind of attack on their king with very few pieces attacking. But yeah, I've been playing this extremely cowardly defense he here. Uh, that begs for me to attack right away. Like, this knight, huge target. Huge, huge target. I don't need... I really don't need to think about this. I need to push this. No, a lance drop could make my attack stronger. 
yeah, there is merit to uh, playing this slow move first. But this knight is a huge target. And I don't need to chase it here. I can wait until they drop the silver, I take it, and then I chase their knight, which has absolutely nowhere to go here. So, yeah, I foresaw this, but it's not concerning. All right. So a knight would be an excellent addition to my attack. Thanks for the game. All right. Yeah, my opponent had mentioned before this game, um, since they're playing on mobile, they uh, are going to just take off after the game. And it's quite late anyway. Thanks for the game. It was very exciting. <laughs> it's entirely fair that they don't want to partake in the... Yeah. Yeah. Good luck in the next rounds, and they'll see you next time. Um, but that leaves us to do the analysis. We can do that. Entirely fair. Um, wait. If I want to expand the game board, I go over here to expand the game board. It's right there. So from the beginning of the game, yeah, there are some points where clearly... Uh, like, I've seen this before, and I've like seen Bishop Exchange here. And it's playable. I have some things to learn about it, that's for sure. Um, but we ended up playing this slower thing, and I forgot, but they can just pile both of their silvers to hit my center pawn. And I need a counter for that. So we're going to have to look this up in some database, but for now... I mean, I guess if they exchange both silvers, if they exchange everything on 5-5, five five, my rook takes at the very end. And technically, if I count this right... Oh, well, I come out ahead. Okay, so that's why they didn't do it. I was afraid this whole time of, like, silver takes, silver takes, silver takes, bishop takes, bishop takes, rook takes... Uh, but I come out ahead on this exchange, um, even after they take my lance. Like, yeah, this uh, is not working for them. So this is why, despite them bringing out both silvers, um, this is actually stable. Okay. So, yeah, I try to... Well, I'm not sure what I'm trying here. Putting pressure on their king... Um, I was panicking, so I was debating do I build, like, some kind of Mino or something? I don't know. I decided to keep my king close to the center, which is probably deeply unwise. I pushed my edge pawn to give my knight somewhere to escape to, but that ended up being not relevant. Um, yeah, I'm sure there were some tactics here. So, if I take here... This takes, if I run, they push, this is just how the line usually goes. Um, forget this line though. Is there something here? Is there something to consider here? Wait a second. Uh, if silvers get exchanged, and if I do this, this is the threat. I have to watch out for that threat. So that's why instead of this pawn up, normally I think you play this. Um, and then we could still maybe see the same sort of thing, but without the silver fork on the back row. Um, anyway. Um, I was expecting this silver drop, which picks up this gold general. Um, not sure I had a good counter after this. Wait, no, I have to protect the gold. 
We have to go here. They take, I take. And this looks pretty bad. Um, I guess I do get the knight, which is what I was thinking during the game. But um, at what cost? I don't know. We did get a knight. I don't really know how to use a knight here. This bishop's attacked. This pawn is twice attacked. It's tempting to think we can go back, but this does not work. So um, my bishop has to go somewhere else. So that would seem to indicate here. Yeah, this... I did not play this accurately. Anyway, they played on my bishop's head and gave me a free pawn. And then gave me a free knight. Um, yeah, I don't know about this move. During the game, it occurred to me maybe I could do this. This is a bit drastic, isn't it? So... Not sure how this ends up. Looks interesting, but um, maybe it's fine. But maybe I shouldn't spend my time looking at this, given how many other errors there were, or how many errors I think I made early on in the game. Maybe it's not worth looking too deeply at that one. Um, yeah, my knight advancement seemed reasonable. Um, hmm. This whole everything we did was so surprising to both of us. Since this pawn's here, like, I can't drop a knight to force a rook exchange or something like that. This kind of sacking the token didn't seem to lead anywhere. So... Yeah, I'm not totally sure what to do. Bringing the knight out seemed reasonable, but if they ever manage to get one more piece, it goes directly on the head of my rook and castle and all that, and it's really sad. And if I drop a pawn to try to prevent, or try to resist the silver, um, how does this play out? If they do play this, this is bad for me, right? This has got to be bad. <sighs> so, uh, I was briefly considering things like this. This check. Um, and maybe this here. Because if I take with the silver, I have to worry about the... Oh, I don't have to worry about that. Never mind. Um, maybe it's fine. Oh, I'm sorry. The whole other point was the silver's loose. So yeah, luring the rook out to 5-5 five five would just drop my silver. Which, maybe the silver shouldn't have been there in the first place. Like, even though this was tempting, it did gain a tempo, but... Um, there's got to have been something here. I mean, I briefly toyed with this idea. Very briefly. Um, actually, this looks pretty decent. This looks not terrible. Maybe it's okay. Um, yeah, if we lure this silver back here, this position is much less scary. I mean, sure, they could do this or something, but it's not scary. Um, I have one extra tempo over everything that happens in the game. So that uh, probably helps somehow. 
like here I could consider this I guess and then if that moves up then we could see some tactics this is check unfortunately because my king shouldn't be here um but um otherwise if not for this check we would win an entire silver but yeah this idea of um dropping a silver here and then dropping a pawn this might have some merit i don't think i want to exchange the silver for that silver and let the rook in but um Hmm. Yeah, but this is interesting. And the whole time I'm noting that if they play the rook back, I just drop a pawn on the rook's head, which is always fun to do. Um, yes, yeah, so this might have been a possible idea. During the game, I didn't... For some reason, I didn't like that. I preferred this instead, but... This might be superficial. The other way, I actually get a knight and can do something with the knight. Whereas here, this move order... They did get a pawn somewhere. They've had this pawn for a while, I guess. So, yeah, this is still not obvious. Um, tactics happened. I piled up both my knights on the center pawn... That was kind of my idea for the last few moves here, but do I have better? Hard to say. Oh, I've cut off the path for the rook to hit my uh, silver. So now pawn 5-5 five five might be good. Um, so again, if they do this, uh, we get to exchange some pieces um, like this for example and this probably encourages an exchange of rooks and this may or may not be fine so that's one possibility it's there's it's not the only possibility here um, my night drop might have been okay yeah, the way this played out, I don't know if I care for all of this. Like, if I'm just completely zen, just, like, freely doing my own thing, maybe this is right. And the idea is eventually we're going to pile on this point, and this bishop's not great where it's at. So let's get the bishop out of this mess and eventually get something going on here. That's one kind of just thinking out of the box idea. They probably take this and I probably don't have a good defense to the lance drop threat. Um, but if I could just do anything and completely ignore what they're up to, this might be a thought. Um, yeah, to my surprise, they took this instead of trying any kind of defensive move. So we twice exchange here. And then, yeah, I'm trying to lure the rook away so I can collect this silver general. Maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. It's scary to let this rook so close to my castle. It really is. But... Maybe that's the right idea. It's this kind of fun, fun, fun sacrifice where... I don't know. This looks really iffy. Um, I have brought my pieces closer to the castle, but they can make a lot of room to run away. And I don't have a rook anymore. So, yeah. What I did seems fine enough. They ran from my attack. I guess they kind of have to. Which allows me to keep pursuing the rook. Here, I reacted to this rook running around. Um, again, this might have been interesting. 
So I started to try to read this out. Uh, I was kind of low on time, but I gave it some effort. I thought, well, whatever results will be better if this rook's not here. So I forced the rook to move away before trying to play into something like this. But what if we actually try to read it? Um... Yeah, I don't have checkmate. Let's be real. Yeah, it'd be so nice if I had checkmate, but I would have had to plan ahead to deserve that. Um, so my silver is loose, so yeah, this is reasonable. Then they do this. And, oh, I did take this way. Um, lots of possibilities. What if I just take the rook? They take my rook. I take here. I was concerned about something like this. There's really nothing to be worried about, is there? Um... This would have been straightforward. Why didn't I just do this? I was concerned about this. But it's nothing. Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just clearly better in this position. Which explains why I can get away with so much. So yeah, I finally do take their rook. They take this way. Uh, strictly speaking, seems this is better because, um, I mean, it approaches my castle faster and encourages me to, I don't know, well, it's, it's a faster attack. Um, somehow this way, it does promote another piece. Um... I guess, yeah, this way I was able to activate my gold and took away all their attackers. And then I started playing some cowardly moves because I couldn't read everything. I saw this, and I knew that if they played this promotion, I could resist this way. Um, maybe there's some cleaner way to resist this whole attack. I've been considering, like, what if I just drop here? Is this safe enough? And probably for now, because I have these pawns jagged in this formation. This might be fine. Um, what if I just like play my bishop somewhere? Like this, I kind of wanted to do this. Uh, I was concerned, well, now they have silver drop idea back here. But I miss that I have this resource. So maybe, maybe there are better ways for me to resist here. Or more flexible ways for me to resist. Um, but yeah, regardless, I managed to place some pieces that just slowly ran out their attack from this dragon. Um... I've been tempted to do this. Uh, wait. Oh, this could be... So note that if I take this way, they have uh, this fork. So I have to take with the rook here. Uh, which is fine. It's just slow. And allows them to attack again and again and again. But instead of that, um, yeah, we attack over here. Um, yeah, they are now forced to do something very aggressive, and they do something very aggressive. This bishop has been idling here, but it's doing its best. Like, if they try to do something with the bishop, I don't know that it actually gets anywhere. Um, maybe if they try to, like, run their king into the corner by pushing this up and the king over. This might have put up some resistance, but here... Rather than chasing the knight where it was at, I wait for it to run up the board, and then I chase it. Um, 
so that was success on my part. Um, yeah, maybe this point here. Well, as soon as they attack it, I try to defend it. But maybe that is, relatively speaking, my weakness here. Um, honestly, when they start dancing this dragon around, I was expecting them to, like, do something like this. And, okay, yes, this prevents the dragon from coming back down and doing a horizontal attack, but maybe there's more than one idea in this position. I probably still attack successfully, like I've been intending this kind of stuff. Um, I did like that the silver covered 5-5, five five, but maybe the silver's outdone its welcome. I don't know. Um, so that's one idea. This is another idea. This could maybe join in somehow. Um, this is still going to happen, otherwise the king escapes into the corner. So, yeah, I was expecting something like this, instead of diving into the... Well, anyway, um, we ended up with what we ended up with here. Um, oh, I wonder. Yeah, now this drop was fine, but I, during the game I didn't even consider this move. Like, this is overkill for sure. But the point is that if they take this, I can take across the rank. So this forces them to defend somehow, so they just, like, put some peace in the way, and, you know, it's just, I get to take a bishop. Um, in other positions, some similar idea might be stronger. Actually, what about this move order? So we run out of checkers, and they're able to block. And if we had just one more checking piece, if we hadn't squandered all of our pieces on this side of the board, maybe we'd have something here. Um, but yeah, unfortunately that's not how it's meant to be here, I guess. But we were able to pick up this knight, and consequently just this attack has run out. Their dragons out here, their knights trapped, their bishops trapped. I have a strong attack at this point, so it did make sense to resign. It's just unfortunate. Um, where was the key error, I wonder? Well, I, I had quite the reaction to this. I thought surely they were going to take here and force my rook to move away, and then they could continue an attack. I thought that was the exchange we were making. Um, and I was quite surprised that, like, they, uh, I guess it makes sense, though, at this point. So the mistake must have occurred earlier, right? Um, so how does one attack from here? Oh, well, so this lance drop looked quite tempting to prevent me from winning a silver. Maybe it's forced, and if it's forced, how far back do we go until we get to something that's not forced? So, like, this makes the rook move, because the king hadn't taken here. Had the king taken, then this would just be a loss of a token. Um, so... Maybe this was an error? I'm not sure where the error happened. Um, but yeah, after rook takes, pawn takes, my attack picked up a whole lot of steam. Yeah. I think somehow... I mean, we played central file rook of some sort. And somehow this just... Maybe taking the lance, even though it threatens to make a big threat on my rook. Maybe it's not the right thing to do here. How could they have picked up the pace by one move somewhere? Is there a free move anywhere that they could have, like, saved a move somehow? <laughs> How could they have saved a move over what happened in the game? Um... So I take the knight. They play this forward. 
Again, I don't see a move being lost. Uh, during the game, I was concerned about this. Even though a rook exchange seems slightly to my benefit. Like, I've not completed my castle. Yeah, no, I'm just being paranoid. This uh, favors me if we get the ex these rook exchange. If we exchange the rooks and I'm able to start taking pawns and pin this gold. That favors me. Um, this is a good pawn drop, but... Huh. Yeah, I'm not really seeing where an error happened. That's so weird. I wonder if they had some crazy tactic like this. And if I do pawn takes, they can drop a knight here and collect my rook. And if I take here... Yeah, okay, so during the game I felt really weird about doing this knight drop. But actually there's a concrete refutation to it. Um, so this knight drop is my error. And they're failing to take this because evidently this has a, a nice combination to follow up. Um, their error and omission not doing this seems to be the mistake they made. I wasn't setting a trap on purpose or something, it's just I did not fathom that this could happen. Um... Even here, I might still be surviving. Um, well, no. If I bring my king out, they have this drop. So I can't bring my king forward like this. Um, but I have to. Alright, yeah, this was... So, if, yeah, if I take this with the pawn... And that's a loss that way. If I take this way, they do gain a knight. I've sacrificed a knight for maybe some initiative. Probably not any initiative. So I just got fortunate in my blunder that they also blundered. Um, just, it was a really atypical position, and neither of us recognized what was going on. But yeah, my knight drop walks square into this, and if we exchange rooks, um, yeah, like I was just showing a second ago, I've just lost a knight. So, um, yes, yeah, so this may or may not invalidate my knight attack idea. And if it invalidates the knight attack idea, then maybe I have to go this way. And, <clears throat> and maybe they do promote this and take my lance anyway. Um, but I can make time to collect this. So as I'm making time to collect that, uh, they don't promote right away. They keep this pinned. And then maybe we have something like this. And it's complicated. But yeah, I think maybe something like this is what's supposed to result. After I've done this really heavy silver drop, and instead probably could have just taken here and was concerned about rook takes, but then we have this drop. And um, if they continue trying to promote on this file, we do this exchange. Um, do I exchange silvers here? I don't think. No, if I exchange silvers, this is again prone. So I don't exchange silvers, but I do this. And they find somewhere for their rook. Maybe here, even. I don't know. Somewhere. Pick a square. They pick something. Um, and yeah, maybe this is how things should have resulted. And this way, this attack here is one step slower. So... Um, I think this is what's supposed to have happened, or something like this, but instead we had a wild game um, where I just marginally took it. And this just escalated more and more throughout the game and got a lot of pieces and was able to drop all the pieces in defense 
and this attack never took off. So, I guess our conclusion, one, it'd be nice if I were to improve some of my move order things in the opening, although this seems fine. I was just not comfortable, but yeah, I twice moved the king. Um, this is a bit aggressive, but I think maybe warranted. I was aiming for Kimura Amino with the silver on seven or six three. Um, I was also maybe aiming to dislodge the silver because I was just disillusioned with the thought that I might lose this pawn. Uh, it's a vanguard pawn. It's actually quite strong here until their rook is able to put pressure on it. This knight move is typical of this opening. Um, but yeah, maybe they could have just been slightly more patient. And I would have done something slightly more patient, I think. Um, yeah, I was considering stuff like this. I don't know how they continue playing patient moves here, but once they've built this nice, solid castle, this move is still going to be here. I don't think it's a matter of... Um, you know, I know I wanted to do this during the game, but having read out what we've read after the game, it seems this pawn is weaker than I thought. Or, I'm sorry, is stronger than I thought, so... Um, Forcing this capture doesn't gain me anything. Um, but yeah, I think if we both spend a little time... Uh, hang on. Now that I've started this, let's continue in this vein. We both spend a little time building a nice, solid castle. I think we'll both be happier for it. Um, something like this, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it's an interesting game. Um, and best of luck to both of us in the future rounds in this event, as my opponent suggested. I think there are five rounds left to go. I've lost count of how many rounds we've played. It's either been four or five that we've played. I think there's a total of nine rounds. Uh, yeah, we attacked accurately with this lance, which forced them to play some sharp moves, and it just didn't work out for them. But yeah, this dragon getting chased all over the side of the board is a bit comedic. Normally you think of a dragon as being something scary and some, instead of something that's forced to move around. Um, so I didn't really comment about this, but after they played the rook, I had backed up in my mind and started to think, well, what if they played it somewhere else? Um, because like, I was still trying to think of where this rook might drop. But really, they've got a lot of other pieces they can attack with too, but apparently nowhere to put them on. Because my generals and silver and pawns cover so many squares, it's difficult for them to put anything anywhere without it being taken immediately. Um, that's kind of... I don't know what. Amusing is one word that comes to mind, but yeah, like if this pawn had moved, they would just put a knight here, bam, there goes my gold, and my bishop is threatened. So, like, yeah, I was very fortunate somehow that, like, all my pieces cover all these squares so effectively. When did I do my rook drop? How many turns before their rook drop to this? Oh. I did this, then I take here. Yeah, so it's just a series of moves that uh, one by one. It's hard to fault any one of these moves. It's just I played a good game, and I'm still in kind of disbelief of it. But no, this is the only move I can fault, is that I'm just giving a knight for free. But if we ignore this hideous blunder. Aside from that, this is a nice game. So, yeah, wow. Tough, tough break. Our opponent played quickly, and I'm sure if they'd found that tactic, they probably would have prevailed. Um, it's, yeah, 
I got lucky. But, I don't know. Anyway, best of luck to everybody playing these tournaments, playing uh, Tourney to Master, Tourney to Shodan, Tourney to Josu, I believe. All these um, are run in the Shogi Harbor Discord. Um, best of luck to those playing in other events. Like, I've traditionally played a lot in this uh, teaching ladder each weekend. This weekend, again, I'm avoiding it because I have other responsibilities. But, yeah, I hope we all enjoyed this. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.